Ciao, everyone, and welcome to Thursday, September 26, 2024. I'm Joe Pratt, keeping you informed of what's happening in the world. Israel and Lebanon are sending rockets back and forth to each other, and Israel strikes killed about 500 people and wounded over 1,000 others. Lebanon is also sending rockets, but we haven't gotten any word of any deaths on the Israeli side. Israel has sent out messages asking civilians to flee their towns because they plan on bombing. And once their operation is finished, they can come back to their homes. Hurricane John strengthened into a Category 3 hurricane and is now history after hitting Mexico's southern coast. Maximum sustained winds were about 120 miles an hour. And Hurricane Helene is now a Category 4 and is expected to hit Florida sometime tonight. Sustained winds are about 140 miles an hour, and Helene is a much bigger storm than John was. Officials are recommending people in the storm's path to write their name, birthday, and important information on their skin in permanent marker so they can be identified if the storm causes severe damage to property or people and if people get separated from loved ones. It's taken three years, but a mentally ill man has been sentenced to life in prison for killing 10 people at a Colorado supermarket in 2021. Ahmad Alisa was found guilty and will serve life in prison. Even though he was determined to be mentally ill, he was not found to be insane. Now, the difference is that with insanity, the person does not know right from wrong. But with mental illness, there is still an awareness of right and wrong. New York City Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted for letting foreign nationals buy his influence with illegal campaign contributions and lavish overseas trips. He faces conspiracy, wire fraud, and bribery charges and has a five-count indictment. Uh, Boeing is now two weeks into a worker strike. The workers wanted a 40% pay raise over three years. The company offered a 25% pay raise, and the workers decided to strike. Boeing said the offer would take a machinist pay from $75,600 a year to over $111,000 a year. In politics, the election, J.D. Vance and Tim Walls will be debating next Tuesday. Facebook owner Meta said it was banning Russian state media networks from its platforms for foreign interference activity. And Meta also owns Instagram, WhatsApp, and Threads, and all these platforms will be banning Russian state media. In sports, you probably remember that Shohei Otani became the first member of the 50-50 club. Uh, 50 home runs and 50 stolen bases in the same year. Well, the ball, the home run ball that he hit for number 50 is supposed to go up for auction, and bidding was supposed to start at about $500,000, but there is a dispute over who owns the ball. Max Mattis says that he caught the historic home run ball, but that Chris Belansky and Kelvin Ramirez took it away from him at the game. The Oakland A's have played their last game in Oakland. Uh, They will be moving the team to Sacramento and then eventually to Las Vegas. The A's spent 57 seasons in Oakland and had 21 playoff appearances. They won six pennants and four World Series. In entertainment, Shibuzi wins New Artist of 2024 at the People's Choice Country Awards. All 18 awards are chosen completely by fans. Beyonce had 12 nominations but didn't receive any awards. Winner of the People's Artist was Morgan Wallen. The Group or Duo Award went to Dan and Shay. And Song of the Year was I Had Some Help by Post Malone featuring Morgan Wallen. Ron Finley received an arrest warrant for planting vegetables in front of his house. Mr. Finley decided to take action, so he started a petition and rallied the community. This was in the Los Angeles area. 
The city council eventually revoked the arrest warrant and passed a new law that allows free gardens next to sidewalks in Los Angeles. What that means is that anyone can plant a garden on portions of city property in the Los Angeles area. Who says you can't beat City Hall? And from the wisdom of children, Adrian, 12 years old, reminds us, you shouldn't sneeze when someone is cutting your hair. Joe Pratt, make it a great day.